Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today, I just want to share <laughs> about the body of Jesus Christ and how the body is diverse and diversity is a valuable uh, asset of the body. It, the diversity of the body, the, the different manifestations and the manifold um, wisdom, the manifold uh, workings, the manifold, the manifold manifestations, <laughs> you know what I mean, of the body are, you know, beautiful, but they're all working together to represent the same person. So let's talk about that. For as the body is one and has many members and all the members of that one body, even though there are many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit, we are all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, whether bond or free, and have all been made to drink of the one spirit or into the one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not part of the body, is it not therefore part of the body? And if the ear should say, uh, because I'm not the eye, I am not part of the body, is it therefore not part of the body? If the whole body was an eye, where would be the hearing? If the whole was an ear, where would be the smell? But God has set the members, every one of them, in the body as it has pleased him. And, man, there's just so much that we need to understand. But I think it's so, it, it, what's, what's, what's important in this, in this passage is to understand that as our body is made up of different members, but, but it, it, it all works together to be part of that one body, that's also how Christ is. So everyone in the body of Christ is going to look different like if you look at your body and every different piece of your body like your finger your fingernail the hair on your hand the veins the joints the bones uh your elbow your arm your knee your toes your everything okay your liver your lungs your your uh kidneys your i mean infinite I mean, not infinite, obviously, there's there's um, a limited amount of different functions within a body, but it's it's millions, right, of different functions. Uh, and but what the most important thing is to recognize that everything looks different and it all functions differently. OK, and the only way for those things to eat those in all the parts of the body, they don't even know each other, but they're just connected to the body through the nervous system and it's all connected through the brain so the only thing that matters for the parts of the body is that they all are connected to the head that's why jesus is the head of the body we all are different parts and members of the body and we all have different functions but we all function through the head through uh christ and then that's manifested through the spirit which he has given to us but but that's how we can all recognize each other. But how do you recognize that spirit within somebody, right? How do you recognize the spirit of Christ within somebody? Is it because they agree with you? Is it because they look like you? Is it because uh, they function like you do? No, it's because of the fruits of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness self-control but most importantly love because really at the end of the day love sums up everything that's why it's the first one to be mentioned the fruit of the spirit is love it could just stop there because joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness self-control these are all just attributes of love all right um it, it's so simple it's complex but God is just amazing in the way that he's manifested these things. But the body, let's just keep it simple. That's how we can recognize each other. That's why Jesus says, they will know you by your love for one another. Okay? Not by your 
uh, condemnation of each other, your accusation of each other, by your holding other people to your standards, even though they're not held to your standards because they're not functioning the same way as you do, you need to not be so simple-minded. You need to be uh, minded to understand that you can be completely convinced of what you're convinced of and somebody else can be completely convinced of something different and both of you can be right as long as you're all functioning <laughs> under the same head and uh, you have because you're obviously going to have different perspectives you're going to have different functions you're going to have different ideas because you're not supposed to be the same otherwise you'd be this problem down here for the body is not one member but many you know if everybody was the eye then no that we wouldn't hear if everybody was the ear then there'd be no one to see we'd be blind if everybody you know what i mean and, and so on and so forth if everybody was the hand we wouldn't get anywhere we all we need we need feet we need fingers we need we need everybody okay let's not condemn each other let's not cut off each part that's what's going on in the church right now Okay, I just, so you can, I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit further in this. There's 40,000 denominations and probably even more than that around the world. Who knows? That's just in America. Okay, and you know what it is? Every, th this is what has happened. Everybody that's an ear, they all hang out with everybody who's an ear. Because everybody that's an ear, uh, they all look alike, sound alike, and, and they think alike. So then they cut off everybody who's not an ear. <laughs> and they start a church. You know what I mean? And everybody who's a foot goes and starts their own church and they don't and they and everybody that's a foot goes and joins that church because they get along with all those people and they all think alike so this is why we have the division that we have in the body because everybody is, that that is like-minded and functions the same all ends up in the same place okay and satan is rejoicing <laughs> he has reason to rejoice because he's done an excellent job of convincing us that this is the way it's supposed to be and that we're right and nobody else is because we have some truth there is some truth to being the foot it is true yeah you are the foot and that's necessary and but that's not all the truth okay the truth is that you're just the foot <laughs> and, and you need the leg and the knee and the thigh and the joint and the hip and you know what i mean so so let's start thinking this way this is the way we have to think because jesus says any kingdom divided against itself will not stand okay satan's number one goal is division and he's done an excellent job do not divide unite have the mind of love Understand the body of Jesus Christ. Amen.